Hello guys, welcome to our first episode in validation. So my name is Tim, your good friend, the head of that film for Flock. This video, we will go through how to run a LLM loss validator, or in other words, operate a validator in our network. So first of all, you can come into this GitHub link, um, github.flock-io LLM loss validator, and clone this repository. Next. Um, and before you go into the uh, VS Code or other editor, you also need to have your API key ready and take into a validator task, like how I did it with um, task three. It is very simple. All you need to do is select a task. For example, I will, I will presume I'm staking on task ID four to select it. So you see here the minimum requirement is 50 ml you can see it here the minimal requirement is 50 fml and then all you need to do is here 50 then you can just take it and once your text transaction is completed you will see this happening so now I'm already staked as a validator on task four. So remember this task ID and also go to your API key. and then um, go to your API a page and copy your API key. Next up, very simple. We are now in the validator um, Git repository. I've cloned it already. All you need to do is uh, just git clone the URL of this repository. Now. So here we as so for here we suggest everyone to use a um, WSL as I showed here. Just wait for it to be loaded. So simple uh, again, very simple. All you need to do is create a new Conda environment. Conda uh, create um, NLM validator Python. So now we are installing our um, Conda environment, all the required packages. Nice. And then we're just going to do Conda activate LM loss validator. So now we are in this um, LM loss validator environment. And then what next is um, install all the required packages. Type install dash r requirement txt. Nice. Uh, so because I've already installed it, um, and then um, it will just use the cache. So if you are running it for the first time, it probably will take some time for you to install everything. But once it's done, it, it, we are good. Yeah, we've successfully installed all the packages now. Um, so let's let's give me a let me give you a overview on this um readme. So we went through the environment setup. And then now we go to the next session, how to run validation scripts. So the first two command, it is a local testing command where everything will be run locally, uh, re uh, unrelating to any assignment. So, and then oh, for all users at this point, we can just run this uh, loop function over here, the last line. So just explain, um, let me explain what it does. So we've created a validation script and the loop function to reduce your um, working hour and working time to figure out which assignment ID you want to use. Everything happens automatically, uh, which means once you run this, as long as your uh, PC or your server is running, you can just carry on running this um, validation forever until your um, server just die out. So all we need, to, we need uh, is our two factors, um, task ID and the API key I just mentioned. So now let's just try this um, instruction. Let me copy this. And all I need to do is um, first we change the task ID. So we know that um, I just staked into task ID four. Let me put four here. Then the API key. Copy this. Paste it here. 
then simply run. Oh, yeah. So one thing I didn't do specifically is that you need to run it in the SRC file. So if you run it in the root directory, you will see a file. There's no such file or direction, a uh, directory. So let's change it to the SRC first. So CD SRC, and then we can run the same command again. So you see now we are just loading everything and then getting all the model say tensor and downloading all the required stuff. So we currently we are using this uh, QN 1.5 template for training and now uh, we have 1000 lines of dummy data within this repository. So um, after all the loading, you can skip you, you can skip this part if you want to. So you can see this um, valuation out is calculated and then downloaded to the file temp and then it will just carry on um, doing the same thing over and over again so congratulations you've started running your validator on flock uh, ai arena network so this is the end of this video if you have any questions please follow us on twitter um, any updates as well um, if you have other questions you can also pop into our discord and and request for a validator role, I will open up the exclusive chat for you to answer all the questions and provide support while you are running this. Thank you very much, guys.